Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. If you are coming back, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you as always. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video, to my channel, and to other videos as of course I have more content coming for you this year. So if you clicked on this video, I'm pretty sure it's because you noticed the title and you see that I'm going to be talking with you about my experience as an adult having braces. So if you're interested and you want to know more about just my journey, why I got braces, um, and just all the tips, tricks, hygiene, the cost, all of that stuff, be sure to stay tuned. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and start with why I got braces. I don't want this to be like a 10 hour long video. I do have a habit of rambling on and on and on, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. I went ahead and I got my braces for cosmetic reasons. My teeth weren't horrible beforehand. I just personally had, you know, a slight insecurity with the way my two front teeth laid and I feel like, you know, it's your two front teeth, that's pretty important. So for me, I went ahead, I went and I got braces. I'll insert some pictures, whereas like if you were looking at me head on, you wouldn't know that there was anything wrong with my teeth. I actually got complimented a lot over the years. Like, oh, you have a really pretty smile, or you have really nice teeth, like I used to hear that a lot. And I'm like, oh, thanks. But in my mind, it was just like, hmm, they're not what they could be, you know? And that's the thing about insecurities. Um, other people may think, you know, that you look fabulous. And if it's something that's not really sitting right with you, then you're never, you know, you're just not gonna be happy with it. No matter how much somebody tells you something looks nice, it's not gonna sit that way with you. So for me personally, I didn't like it. If I took like a picture from like a certain angle, you could definitely see it. It actually magnified the flaw and it made it look like instead of my teeth kind of being like this, like this tooth being over, it was like, <laughs> like it literally looked that bad. It was freaking crazy. So yeah, I got braces. Like I, I just didn't like that. And it's like, oh, you didn't like the way your teeth looked in pictures. That's something like so small. And yeah, it is something small, but it was something that was really big to me. So I'm obsessed with teeth, okay? I think that that is just like something very, very important, especially as an adult, <laughs> okay? It's very important. Your oral health is super, super important. So for me, I got my braces for cosmetic reasons because I just really, really, really wanted to have like perfect teeth and that's that. I actually think maybe I should have went into the dental field now that I think about it. How long I've had my braces. So I am currently in month 20. I was on a plan of 12 to 15 months so I've gone over and honestly a lot of that is because of me being so picky. Like I said I'm a tooth fanatic so everything has to be perfect um, and there have been times where my orthodontist was ready at like the 16th, 17th month mark to remove my braces and I personally wasn't ready. I wanted, you know, certain little spaces more closed. I wanted them closer together. I wanted um, certain teeth filed. I wanted, you know, a lot of stuff going on and I'm not finished yet. But in the midst of this, me making those changes and those corrections um, added more time onto my initial plan. So I am in month 20 of 12 to 15. <laughs> Payment. So that is always a big part of every video um, and as you know pretty much payment will be different based on your insurance, based on the state that you live in, like there are a lot of different factors that go into how much you will pay for your orthodontic treatment. For me personally, if you watched my last video then you know I am a member of the military. Dental insurance with the military so I am able to get you know my teeth cleaned um if i have like cavities or i need a root canal which thankfully <laughs> we're not doing that but um if i did have those issues if i needed to get a tooth pulled if i needed to have any type of surgery or anything like that done that was like medically required that is covered through the military and i go to the dentist that is on base but in this instance because it was not medically required like i said i went and i got braces specifically for cosmetic reasoning my braces were not covered and they would not put braces on me at my installation just because we didn't have an orthodontist to do that at the time. And if you aren't necessarily like a medical case, then you're not a priority. So I went off base and by going off base, 
I basically don't have insurance. I just looked at like I don't have insurance. So I pay 100% out of pocket for my orthodontic care. Depending on your area and depending on, you know, what type of treatment you get and just all of that stuff, your insurance prices will be different. For me specifically, I pay close to $6,000 for my braces. I put down like a down payment to even get started. I think it was like 1800 and then from there I was on like a payment plan where I paid like 280 somewhere like that um, for about six months and then I went ahead and just paid off the remainder. Like I didn't want to stay on a payment plan. I didn't want to do that. So it just, I didn't like that. But they do have that option for you. So if you do need a little bit more help with like funding or you just don't want to pay, a big lump sum at one time maybe you don't have that on you then you can go ahead and you know sign up for a payment plan with your orthodontist if that's what they offer at the office for anybody that's wondering i did not get invisalign i thought about it and that's what i was originally going to get but when i went and i actually spoke with my orthodontist and <laughs> my orthodontist my orthodontist and um, went over like all the different treatment plans and looked at the cost of everything um, I just went ahead and went with the traditional braces based on just my like I said my treatment plan what I was trying to do with my teeth the traditional set seemed to work a little bit better for me and then I also have the Damon braces so I don't have like traditional traditional like the style that I have is traditional I do have brackets and I have wires as you can see but um, I have the Damon bracket system which is like where it self aligns I'm only going to see my orthodontist probably like maybe nine or ten times throughout my whole entire like treatment so it requires less visits. I don't have to go as often. The brackets that are on my teeth are actually smaller than the traditional set of brackets that people get. I don't have like rubber bands and things like that over each bracket, lacing it together. Um, I don't have to go get them tightened. I've never got them tightened. The wires that are in my teeth right now, they align themselves. So that's like the self aligner portion of what the whole system is about. Um, it's supposed to be less painful allow for less visits to the orthodontist and then I guess it's just supposed to be a better system but I mean hey that's up for debate I'm not dental I can't tell you so you can look it up though Damon braces I wanted to touch on this just because this is like the most important part of <laughs> life with adult braces um it's the hygiene your hygiene which is just important if you are an adult you're a teenager, you're a young child, whatever. Like, you really need to practice good oral hygiene throughout your whole entire life. Nobody wants yellow teeth, nobody wants cavities, nobody wants root canals, you know, missing teeth. Like, that's just not, that don't sound like any fun to me. <laughs> I don't want that, that's not what I'm about. And I just feel like, you know, if you just take care of your teeth, that's easy, it's just easy to do, take care of your teeth. Who wants bad breath? not me so pretty much um, I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that I use to help me with my oral hygiene as far as like having braces and things that have helped me along the way so number one most importantly you need a toothbrush and this right here is like a Sonicare it's one of the electric toothbrushes but I also have um, just a manual and I alternate between both of them really you don't need an electric toothbrush I have an electric toothbrush just because I wanted that um, I like the way it feels on my teeth I like how it really like gets in there and cleans and it leaves my teeth all smooth and polished but the majority of the time I honestly use my manual toothbrush that I have in there and I just get in and I scrub but I really like this because it has a really really long like head right here and I can like go far in the back of my mouth and kind of get like behind my molars so I really really like this like I said you don't have to have it as long as you have a toothbrush and you're brushing your teeth please brush your teeth number two I didn't bring this in here with me but of course it's toothpaste like and any type of toothpaste will do I personally use um, like aquafresh and it's the kind that has like the little foaming bubbles once I used that, I couldn't go back to using regular toothpaste, but any toothpaste of your choice will work. Make sure that you have toothpaste to accompany your toothbrush, okay? Don't just be in there washing with water, it doesn't work like that. Number three would be mouthwash, of course. 
follow up and I know somebody's probably like oh my god this is so simple like duh you use mouthwash don't you use toothpaste okay a toothbrush yeah some people don't and you really should so make sure you follow up with mouthwash they have like special mouthwashes I never knew this until I got braces but I guess because I wasn't looking for it either because I didn't have braces but they actually have special uh, mouthwashes for braces specifically formulated for people that do have braces so look out for those next would be floss so you need the floss there's always gonna be food you're basically after you eat you're gonna have like leftovers like a whole second lunch in your braces still you're gonna need to floss you're gonna need to <laughs> get that food out of your teeth it's gonna be like 10 times worse than whatever you eat on a daily basis and just get like small food stuck in your teeth like i said you're literally going to be carrying around a whole nother lunch so you're going to want to make sure that you have floss with you i carry it like i have a whole little dental pack with me in my purse at all times that has like these things in it um i have this at home i take it with me in my suitcase and stuff like that like you always want to have floss on you make sure that you're flossing your teeth that's preventing plaque from getting built up around your gum line you don't want that that leads to gum disease leads to hot breath and like the theme of this whole video is adult braces but it's really adult braces with good oral hygiene so make sure that you don't have bad breath and make sure that you're flossing along with that because sometimes you just need a little bit more help i have these and these are like proxy brushes proxy brushes however you pronounce them proxy brush proxy brush but i love these mine's are hanging out everywhere as you can see they're like falling around because it shows that i use them um <laughs> but yeah like i love these they like get up in there they're like little bristles and you can get up behind the brackets you can get up under the the wires and all that good stuff and literally these save my life like i love using these i almost love these more than i love like the the strings lost because these are just <laughs> these are legit honestly if you have braces and you don't have these you're missing out please get you some of these they will save your life especially like at work and stuff in between lunch or you're just like out with friends or something and you you will have food lodged okay it will be lodged in places and sometimes if you can't get to like a bathroom and you're out and about you can't just pull out that long string of floss and be flossing your teeth that's disgusting please don't do that but if you got one of these along with the string floss they also have threaders that'll help you because flossing your teeth when you have braces is nothing like flossing it without and i'm so excited to get my braces off so that i can floss regularly again it was so difficult when i first got my braces put on trying to get the floss up underneath my wires and in between my teeth my teeth were really sensitive during that time and then just even trying to pull the string through was terrible so they do have these little threaders and it's like a loop and you put the floss through and then it'll help you you slide that up under grab that and then that's how you floss your teeth so if you're a beginner like within the first couple of months of having your braces you're definitely gonna want to have those but now I'm just used to it and I know how to thread my floss on my own so I don't use those anymore but those are really really helpful so they're floss threaders sticking in the like the same group as like flossing and all that good stuff and getting stuff out of your teeth this is my best friend okay this is my best friend when I very very first got my braces I think I bought this like the day before and this is a water pick for anyone who doesn't know and they have a bunch of different sizes i would actually recommend getting like the big one that sits on the counter that's the one that i actually should have got now that i've you know gone through this whole process but i got this one and this one did the trick as well but the thing that i don't like about this is it'll run out of water <laughs> so you can only put so much in here and it'll run out while i'm you know using it and then i have to go to the sink refill it and then you know hit the top whereas if i were to have the bigger one that just sits on the dresser and i could fill that up with a bunch of water at one time i wouldn't have to stop and refill so but a water pick ugh. if you don't know what this is this is basically flossing your teeth with water it's just like at the dentist when they take that little hose and they're squirting the water in your mouth and it's pressurized that's what this is and it saves your life like i said when i first got my braces on my teeth were very very sensitive and it took probably like uh, a couple days to a couple probably like the second week 
my teeth weren't sore until the second week. So when I first got my braces on, I was like, oh. Yeah, there, it eventually came time to where it did bother me and my teeth were very, very sensitive and it was hard like brushing and you know, eating and having food in there and it was like, you're trying to like get it out but it's so sensitive to where I would go in the bathroom, fill this up with water and just like blast all the food and all that stuff out first and then go in with my toothbrush and it just, it was, it worked wonders, I'm telling you, I swear by water picks. This is awesome, but it does not replace actual flossing. So even though it is a water flosser, you actually do still need your Praxa brush, you still need your string floss and you need to actually manually floss your teeth. So I think it's awesome to have, but to me, in my opinion, it doesn't replace actually flossing. So don't get this and then just be like, oh, I never have to floss my teeth again. I think you still should floss but this is awesome to have. I know I've had like a lot of people make comments like, oh, well, you know, why do you have braces now? Like, oh, you've gone so long this whole time. Why would you wait until you're this old to get braces? And it's like, because I can. <laughs> Simply because I can. Like I have something that I wanted to fix. I feel like you should go ahead and fix it if it's something that bothers you. Like I said, I wasn't really happy with what my smile was looking like at the time so i went ahead and i took it upon myself to go fix my teeth so and that's just what that was i've also had people say like little smart stuff you know like shady like oh well, i don't want to be having to like clean my teeth all the time or i don't want to have to you know always pick food out of my teeth and, da -da -da -da. and i'm just like okay i'm doing that now so that come next week I'll be smiling and profiling. So, I mean, you know, I can see if I had to wear my braces for five years or something. It's not that serious. It said a year to a year and three months, which I went over and I went over on my own personal preference because there were things that I was nitpicky with and I just wanted to make sure it was, you know, as close to perfect as it could be before I got my braces removed. And I've been chilling. It's like it really doesn't impede anything that I got going on in a day to day. I'm not walking around with like headgear or anything. I'm just another person that has braces and I will have super straight teeth come next week so I'm really 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 excited oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. also because I'm getting my braces removed on Tuesday I'll be filming that as well so it'll kind of be like a come with me to get my braces off so hopefully my orthodontist is cool and you know doesn't have a problem with me filming like the actual removal and that'll be up on my channel come next week as well and I'll let you guys see my before and afters and all of that good stuff yeah that's pretty much it so if you guys have any questions or if this video like i missed something you know and there was something else you wanted to know feel free to go ahead and just leave me a comment down below like and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back to see you guys next time bye